Um, first of all, we're going to start with review, and hopefully this should sound familiar from our fraction unit. Unit 5. Yes, where we converted fractions into decimals. Yep. And so we're just going to go right back to that. So yep. you're going to notice that we have this fraction here, 1 over 8. And, of course, you all remember that this little fraction bar can also mean division. Yep. So, um, oh yes, we do have a little note, uh, time for note-taking, too. So, um, you're going to want to take a moment just to pause and write down these notes. Step one is just rewriting the problem as a division problem. So, it's going to look like this now. So, take that and then show this example, too. Remember the numerator goes on the inside of the division? I don't know if you remember that little trick, the M and the N. Oh, yeah. Good one. If that helps you remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what you're going to want to do, too, is step number two is add three zeros after the decimal. And you might be wondering, well, where is the decimal? Of course, it's after a whole number. So there is our decimal, and just tack on three zeros. Yep. Step number two. Hopefully, you're not too scared yet. She looks then, familiar. Yes. Really familiar. <laughs> please, please. Now, step number three, just you're going to solve this using whichever division method you prefer. Um, we often will show the digit by digit method, it, but if you prefer any other way, that's completely fine. Yep. And right now, um, don't even worry about this decimal. Just think about how um, 8 really can't go into 1, so you're just going to look at the next digit. Mm -hmm. 8 can go into 10 one time, and then 1 times 8 equals 8. We're going to subtract that and get 2, and then of course you remember the next step is to bring down. So we're bringing down our 0, and now we're dealing with 20. So 8 can go into 20 two times, and now we're going to multiply again. 2 times 8 equals 16. Subtract again, and we get 4. And then once again, we're going to bring down the second zero here, or what looks like a second zero. And now we have 40. So now we're going to think to ourselves, 8 can go into 40 five times. 5 times 8, once again, is 40. We're going to subtract that, and we get 0. So um, now we can sort of stop dividing and now we just need to deal with the decimal. Yeah, because so. if you think about it, we're saying 8 goes into 1 125 yeah. times. That, do, that, that should not make does, sense. No. <laughs> so now we do have to deal with this decimal and this is the step that's really, really important. Count the number of places after the decimal and then move the decimal that many places to the left in your answer. So. You want to think about, we have one, two, three places, and so we'll put our decimal right here, because just at the end, and now we have to move it to the left, so one, two, three, there it is. So hopefully this makes a little more sense that mm -hmm. um, really eight goes into the number one less than a whole. Twenty-five thousandth of a time. Yes, yeah. less than one time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. Once again, this is just where we look at this fraction here and think about, oh yeah, we can change that into a decimal. Of mm -hmm. course, less than one whole number. So, um, now are we Pause and try pausing and trying. So, <laughs> you have a decimal here, or a fraction, that you are going to convert into a decimal. So take a moment to pause, and we'll go from there. Am I doing this one? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. So, um... These steps you should already have down. You don't have to write them again. But looking here, um, 2 over 6 should now look like this. The numerator goes in the division symbol here. And now, hopefully you remember 2. I'm going to have my decimal here and add on my three zeros. And now, instead, since we know that 6 can't go into 2, we're going to look at 6 going into 20. We're not going to worry about that decimal right now. 6 goes into 20, oops, sorry, solve using whichever method I got all excited. Digit by digit is the way I prefer. So 6 goes into 20 three times without going over, and we get 18. Of course, we're going to subtract again, and we get to bring down that 0 again, and now we have, hey, 20 again. So this should look familiar, three times again, and we're going to subtract our 18, and we get two again. Hey, Ooh. 
what's going on here? Now, we do it again. And since we've done it three times, you don't have to just keep going over and over and over again. Um, so we're going to stop there, I believe. Oh, except for the remainder is still two. That's my bad. Oh, whoops. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there's no remainder, but it shouldn't be a zero. I right, up on that right. One. So, um, and but that's what I was sort of mentioning is like you should see this pattern happening over and over and over again and you don't have to keep doing it basically after you add on your three zeros you can stop there yeah and that is where once again though you want to think about okay well here's my decimal I um, moved it three times over here one two three and now I want to move it three places back to the left so it's going to end up right there Really, you could add like that little repeating line here just to show that it's this pattern happening over and over and over again. So, 2 6 equals 333 thousandths. Mm -hmm. So, um, now that you've had a couple of times to look at that and practice, now you're going to try these on your own. Once again, hopefully, it shouldn't sound too scary. We've had practice, yep. so good luck with these. And then come back because we got another one. Yes. All right, so now what do we do when the decimal is inside the division sign? And, you know, this really shouldn't look that much different mm -mm. than the fractions one because um, you have a decimal on the inside, not the outside. So the steps are really similar. First step, ignore the decimal. Second step, solve the problem. Again, whichever method you prefer. And then the last step, just like before, count the number of places after the decimal and move the decimal that many places in your answer to the left. So we're going to go through and actually do this one, so make sure you copy, copy this all down. And again, you can use whatever method you prefer. I just digit by digit is fastest for me, so that's what I use. So how many times does 3 go into 20? 6 times. 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract, I get 2. And again, I'm ignoring my decimal for now. I'm just mm -hmm. going to bring down my 2. So 3 times what gets me close to 22, or 22 divided by 3 is what? And the answer is 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Subtract, I get 1. Bring down my 5. 3 times what gets me close to 15? The answer is 5. Multiply. 3 times 5 is 15. Subtract and we have no remainder. Now, my last step here was to count the number of places after the decimal and move it that many places to the left. So there's 1, 2 here. So I need to move my decimal 1, 2 to the left. So my answer should be 6 and 75 hundredths. So that is that one, and you can always double check your answer and see if you're right by multiplying. Mm -hmm. If I multiply 6.75 times 3, I should get 20.25. So that is the one where I did it for you. Now you get to try one, and then we will go through and show you how to do it. So try this one on your own, and then we'll go through it in just a second. Okay, so if I look at my numbers, 8 goes into 47 how many times? 5. It's as close as we can get without going over. Five, 8 times 6 is 48, but I that's know, that's I, too much. So it's right? closer, but it's, it's close. too, much. too much. So 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract. I have 7. Bring down my 6. So 8 goes into 76. How many times? Mm. The answer should be 9. So 8 times 9 is 72. Subtract and get 4. Bring down my 8. 48. 8 goes into 48 6 times perfectly with 0 left. So my last step now... 8 times 596 does not give me 47.68. That's way too much. So i got to look at my decimal here. So there's 2 after the decimal in my question. I have to have 2 after my decimal in my answer. So there's mm -hmm. the short and sweet. So now you get to try these two. So please make sure you answer them the best as you can. And don't forget those decimals because they are important. Yes. Otherwise your answer will be way, way off. <laughs> so go ahead, give those a shot, and we will check them tomorrow.